Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's me Kagem and today we're going to preview a bunch of new um, luxury releases um, from other brands um, because I feel like there's so much great stuff out there, it doesn't just have to be um, Big H or Chanel or Big LV or, or whatever, like there are a lot of great um, brands out there that I want to let you guys know about that are doing some really cool things. So without further ado, let's get started. I saw these earrings um, on the Louisa Viroma app and I wanted to let you know about them. They're by Jennifer Fisher. They're 10 karat um, yellow gold, but they're gold plated metal basically. So it's metal that is gold plated in 10 karat um, yellow gold. Tell me what you think about these. Um, everything that is um, available with a link will be linked below. And if there isn't a link, you can just go into the store um, and see. Um, what you find in terms of the things that I mentioned, but these ones are linked below. Now, I really like these. I think that they're very nice. I think they're quite sleek because they're not chunky. Um, even though they're very big, I feel like they will look very sleek, if that makes sense, like depending on how your hair is. Like the way I've worn my hair today, um, down like this, I feel like they would look really nice. You'd be able to see them. Um, I'm, by the way, I'm wearing the Louis Vuitton. Um, I don't know if you can see them while here, but I'm wearing the Louis Vuitton Louise earrings. I mean, obviously these are very, um, these are subtle compared to these ones because obviously the, these those those ones by Jennifer Fisher are very big but I thought that you guys would be interested in them um, and I did see that they said that it's selling out so if you like them you should scoop them up the next one that I wanted to let you know uh, from Marine Ser. I also saw these on Louisa Viroma. Now, I've talked about Marine Ser before in my Logomania uh, video where we were discussing monograms. Um, I, I feel like I'm learning more about the Marine Ser brand. Um, and one of her, her like her emblem is the crescent, um, which you can obviously see in these earrings. And that's what she's like built her monogram through. Now, these ones, I think it's like a really cool way to wear logos again in a way that is very subtle and it's just a little bit different. It's a bit edgy. Unless you follow fashion, I mean, you follow like everything going on in luxury um, fashion. Um, you most people probably wouldn't know that these are actually logo earrings from uh, you know a, a very famous um, French designer obviously being Marine Set. so I saw these and I thought that these were pretty cool I think these would look really nice with like a ponytail or an afro or again even the way my hair is like right now I think they would look really really nice as well or if you have like a short hairstyle I feel like they would look really good so I saw those and I was like I just have to let you guys know about them I'd love to know what you think about them I think that they will be controversial I think for some people it's like a too much but I feel like in comparison the Jennifer Fisher earrings now look almost very subtle in comparison um, to these ones from Marine Sair but I thought that they were really nice okay the um, next thing that I wanted to show you is a bunch of new um, releases from the Ferragamo Cruise 2024 collection I believe it's 2024 Cruise so I saw this um, and I was like okay whoa I love everything from this collection and something which I noticed about this collection is it kind of reminds me of the clean beauty trend that we're seeing in the beauty industry. I love beauty as you know, I used to have a business in the beauty space, I actually still have one of my e-commerce businesses that is still in the beauty space today um, in Tanzania um, and one thing I love about the beauty industry at the moment is this focus on clean beauty, clean looks and everything looking very crisp and clean and this cruise collection from Ferragamo reminds me me of the clean beauty trend it's very crisp it's very I hate to say it clean um, it's not even so much classic so much as it is elegant discreet and clean um, some people would say this is part of the QL trend to me this is more of a clean aesthetic versus necessarily being QL per se because um, I can't even stand up that phrase you know I don't even want to say it but um it really reminds me this cruise collection it really reminds me of the um, I was about to say it, <laughs> of the clean beauty trend um, from the beauty industry so clean beauty right now is things like you know groomed eyebrows um, but that are not overly done clear lip gloss and muted lip colors and you know not too much not like a full face of makeup you know the Instagram makeup of 2016 and 2017 that really those really heavy 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 Instagram Kardashian makeup looks where you know you had to use so many products to execute a look 
that's like really fallen out of favor now it's really about clean beauty um again as i always tell you guys like for me i think you should wear what you like i i love a, a full face of makeup but definitely right now the clean beauty trend um is popular um right now so this cruise collection reminds me of the clean beauty trend um so i really really like this cruise collection i think there are a lot of standout and ready to wear pieces and there are a lot of really nice leather goods as well ferragamo's transformation under the new creative director has been fascinating to watch for those of you in africa there is a ferragamo in johannesburg um it's next to bulgarian louis vuitton there there is also a ferragamo in cairo egypt out of all places when i was researching where ferragamo is um in africa i was really shocked about that but there is a Ferragamo um, according to my research in Egypt so if you live in Egypt pass through the boutique and tell me um, what you think I'd love to know what you guys think about this cruise collection again super crisp clean very elegant very sleek um, you know this collection it, it, it it to me it feels like a like a very sleek ponytail like it's just so like put together and i really really like it i think that these um looks would like work well as well if you were maybe wearing them to work or something like that okay now alaya have a lot of new arrivals that we need to talk about they have so much stuff going on so if you're subscribed to my email newsletter you already know honey because i already told my email subscribers that alaya is actually expanding they're opening a new boutique on the rue faubourg saint honore in paris um they have their flagship is very close to the avenue montaigne but now they're opening this new boutique on faubourg that is such a great idea that's the perfect location for them all of the all of them girls honey all of the girls are on for walk so you know what time it is that's a great idea um and i'm really really excited to see alaya expand now obviously i'm a maximalist but if i if you if you would tell me like you have to pick one minimalistic brand to shop from it would be this brand um because i think it's a minimalistic brand um with these crisp lines but it has a lot of texture because of azadina liars like signature laser cut um designs remember you'd always do like laser cuts in ready to wear and you know other things um and they have kept that and i think that's what keeps it really interesting by the way just in case you're interested alaya is completely owned by richmond now there are these um swimsuits that i saw um, i saved them um, on my other phone that i want to show you um that i really like and that i will definitely consider i need to see what they look like in person but so far what i saw um i liked there's this one here which is like this is a one piece um and they call it a one piece swimless um, i beg your pardon one piece seamless swimsuit it's 370 pounds in the uk it comes in of course black <laughs> where would a liar be without black black is the signature color of this brand for sure it also comes in white it comes in some other colors as well and then it comes in like neon pink and this kind of orange color now the 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 swimsuit has that again that like trademark um azadina Lai laser cut which here they call the vn pattern it has a seamless knitting technology waterproof yarn and anti-chlorine treatment i mean this is exciting like you know i love swimming i speak fluent swimming for honey okay um you know if you saw my london haul i bought a swimsuit from moschino which i use all the time in my swimming pool here at, in my home and now i'm like i saw this i was like whoa this is so cool and it has like waterproof yarn and um anti-chlorine treatment amazing um this looks really really good the colors are not extensive like i said it's a liar they're always just gonna have like muted colors but they do have pink and orange and white so let me know um, what you guys think about this one. I really like it. There's also this one here, which is, uh, this is the one that they're pushing on their Instagram. I see it on their Instagram a lot. It's this um, jersey bikini. It's 1,230 pounds. It's, it's a lot of money for a bikini, but it, again, it's giving bodycon, sleek, you know, coming out of the swimming pool, you know, and you're looking like that girl, okay, you're one of them girls, you know what time it is, I like this one as well, I'd love to know what you think about this one, I really, really like everything that they're doing, I think on the more minimalistic end, I like Alaya, obviously, I think, I think Alaya is my favorite minimalistic brand, um, but I also like Prada, I also like Bottega as well, and those, they're doing things which I like, and I can generally say, okay, I'm excited, I like what I'm seeing, you know, it's fun and it's vibrant. 
The next new arrival I want to tell you about is from one of my favorite brands, as you know, Moschino. And yes, I'm wearing my Moschino Spring Summer 2023 t-shirt that I got in Paris earlier this year. Um, I love the Moschino brand. They have a new capsule, it's a denim capsule, it's called Moschino Jeans. This is already launched. Um, it should be available at all of these standalone boutiques and it's available on the website. I would encourage you to go to the boutique. I have found, generally speaking, Moschino clothing looks way better in real life um, compared to the pictures on the website. The pictures on the website are fine, but I think that their clothing looks way better in real life. That's the first thing. And the second thing is um, the boutiques have um, a very interesting selection because they pick based on what, whatever they think the market will buy there. So this denim um, collection is very stripped back. It's very unplugged. It's, it's like the acapella version of Moschino. It's not like it's not like the Jeremy Scott Moschino that of those days that we knew. Um, and this obviously is a Jeremy Scott Moschino vibe because obviously this t-shirt was made when he was still there. Um, but it's very stripped back and um, one could say even minimalistic. Like this is them very stripped back. Now, for me, because of like my experiences at the Moschino store, what I have found about the brand is you really need to go to the store. Um, so I'll link um, one of the Moschino denim pieces below. I'll link it so you can have a look on the website. But I would encourage you to go to the boutique. In Paris, the boutique is on the Rue Saint-Honoré, which is, of course, one of the like most preeminent um, shopping like streets in Europe. And in Milan, they have a the, the, the flagship boutique for Moschino Worldwide is in Milan on the Via Spiga. There's a boutique in Rome. And like I said, I think for those of you in New York, the boutique is in Soho in Manhattan. Go to the store if you have a minute this weekend. Pass by the boutique. Moschino is very relaxed. Um, they're not. It's not like shopping at Big H or Big C or Big LV, honey. What are you buying today? You're buying something today. Um, it's completely fine to go in, into the, the Moschino freestanding store and just say that you're browsing. It is fine because I feel like particularly there because it's, it's a ready-to-wear driven brand it's so driven by ready-to-wear um, they want people to discover the, re the clothing and it's completely fine if you just want to look around maybe you'll come and buy something another time go have a look at the uh, Moschino jeans capsule just go into the store and say I want to see the new denim line and they will show you Moschino jeans so I'd love to know what you guys think about this um, hopefully I'll be able to see it as well when I go to Europe to know what you guys think about this format um, I always want to try you know new things and I don't want to ever like I don't know I don't ever want to be one note on this channel I have a lot of interest not just Big H and Big LV and Chanel and, and Dior and stuff there are a lot of wonderful brands out there that I like and I'm always looking at different things for myself anyway um, so I just want to share with you guys new things that I see and things which I think you will like but maybe you haven't seen it or uh, maybe you have seen it and you forgot about it so I can just remind you and you can go check it out so I'd love to know what you think those of you in New York London Paris Rome Milan there are but by the way there are a bunch of Moschino stores in Asia as well pass by the store have a look around there is no pressure to buy there i find i have found that moschino essays are completely fine with you looking around and they will not like follow you around and stuff they won't be on your back um you know big hsa's i need big lvsa like what are you buying today bro you know but it's not like that moschino pass by the store this weekend if you can let me know what you think i'd love to know what you think of their denim capsule i think a lot of you will like that denim line it's also very well priced as well um i'm super excited about what I've seen from Alaya from the swimwear. Like I really need to see it in person. And I want to see like all that stuff they're talking about, like anti-chlorine treatment and all this stuff. Like that sounds fire. Um, because I have a chlorine swimming pool. So I would love to know like how that works out in the end as well. So please make sure that you find me on all of my socials, honey. I'm everywhere, honey. Everywhere on social media, it's linked below. Go follow me on Instagram, follow my Facebook page. Find me on TikTok. I'm on that new thing that Instagram is promoting, Threads by Instagram. I'm on Threads, honey. Hi, Glams on Looks. Go find me on the Threads app. Um, go find me on there and go comment under my threads or whatever. Um, and I think it's actually, I don't know what you guys think about the Threads app. I actually think it's kind of cool because I have not used Twitter in years and I just think Twitter has just become this weird, super creepy place. I hope maybe Threads will be, because it's obviously like <laughs> Instagram's like response. <laughs> to twitter um so yeah i'm on there as well 
go there and find me and say hello and go on my instagram say hello and go join my facebook group and sign up to my email i am everywhere and one of the reasons why i'm everywhere is like i want to escape the brutality of the youtube algorithm it's so hard at the moment for my videos to be seen so go find me everywhere so i really hope you guys like this what are your favorite um pieces from the things that i have picked out for you in this luxury new releases video what are the things that you like what are the things that you're open-minded to remember let's keep an open mind try something new it's so easy to always fall into the things that we like you know my personal style is versace you know that You'll notice I didn't mention Versace here. It's so easy for me because I go on the website all the time. I'm always looking at things to buy from that. Um, so I wanted to try something different. For me, something different is stuff that is a little bit more minimalistic. So Alaya and Ferragamo is very different for me. So I'm also kind of trying to push myself out there. I mean, for the love of God, I have this massive inflatable heart on, my, on this shirt here. So things which are a little bit different for me are things which are a little bit more stripped back, like the Alaya and Ferragamo pieces that I showed you um, in this video. I'd love to know what you think about everything. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the weekend in my next video.